Hey scholars, thank you for joining me for today's music lesson. Last week we learned all about melodies and why they matter so much to music, and today we are adding on to that knowledge, okay? So today we are learning about a different part of music, but it also plays a really, really important part, okay? So what I'm talking about is something called tempo. Can you say the word tempo with me? Ready, one, two, three, tempo. One more time, one, two, three, tempo. All right, this word is gonna be really, really important. It's what our whole day is gonna focus on. And don't forget when you turn in your Flipgrid videos or your Google Classroom comments, make sure that you are using the word tempo in your response, all right? So now let's start talking about what tempo is and why it matters. So tempo, uh, every single song, every single piece of music has a tempo. And the tempo decides how fast or how slow the song is going to move. Okay, scholars, a lot of the time our brains already think, hey, that's a really fast song. That's a really fun and energetic song. Those songs that make you feel fun and energetic and excited, those usually have fast tempos. And the songs that uh, have slow tempos, usually they make us feel a lot more relaxed because they're stretching out their notes. So for our slow tempo songs, just remember that they give us a very relaxed and kind of calm feeling. But for our fast tempo songs, they do the opposite, where they give us a really excited and a really energized feeling. All right, scholars? So I really, really want you to get this definition of tempos, okay? Repeat after me. The tempo decides how fast or how slow a song goes. Good job, scholars. I know that this is getting really, really repetitive, but I really need you to know what a tempo is and why it matters, all right? So say it one more time with me. The tempo decides how fast or how slow the music goes, all right? Good job, guys. Another way that you can think about it if you've never had music before is actually looking at some notes. So for fast tempo songs, you can see these bottom notes that are really, really squished together. When we think of a fast tempo song, that means we have a lot of notes and they're really, really squished and you're trying to move through them really, really quickly so that you can make it through the music, right? So whenever we think of a fast tempo song, usually they like to use these really fast and quick notes. But our slow tempo songs, they, use, uh, they like to use a lot of these slow notes because slow tempo songs are trying to stretch out that note. They really want those long notes to give you that relaxed feeling, okay? So you can think about it like these top three rows of notes that are all stretched out. These are like our slow tempo notes. And these bottom rows that have the notes really quick, one right after the other, these are like our fast tempo notes. All right, scholars, let's try listening to a few different um, styles of music. And then we're gonna decide how the fast tempo one makes us feel and how our slow tempo ones make us feel. So we're gonna listen to two pieces of music. Very first piece of music is called Flight of the Bumblebee. It's a classical piece. You probably heard it. I'm sure that you can YouTube it. Um, it's really, really fun, really, really exciting. It's a very fast tempo piece of music. And that means that it's gonna be moving quickly. It's gonna have a lot of notes and it's just gonna be overall very upbeat, very, very quick. All right, so let's take a look at it. Alright guys, so as you can see this man playing the piano, he actually did us a big favor. 
So right here, all these bright yellow notes that you see flying, those are the notes that he has to play. So what he did for us is he recorded himself playing the piano really, really quick. You can see how quickly his fingers have to move through all of those really, really fast notes, right? So his fingers are moving crazy quick. But then he did this really cool thing where he shows us every single note he has to play with these yellow dots. So these yellow dots show you just how many notes he's got to get through, okay? And since he has all these notes, remember, that's why it's a fast tempo song. You've got a bunch of notes, they are squished together, and the song is just going so, so quick. And that's why he's got to move his fingers like crazy to get through. So it's a really, really exciting song. If you want to look it up, it's called Flight of the Bumblebee. And there's loads of videos on it, guys. It's really exciting. So I think you should check it out. All right. So the second song that we're going to listen to has a really, really slow tempo. It's actually from the movie Up. So if you've checked out this movie before, you've probably heard it. But this is um, a, the song that they play at the very beginning when they're kind of making us feel re very relaxed and kind of introducing us to the different characters. So this is a very slow tempo song. And you're gonna see how it gives us that very like relaxed and calm feeling. All right, so let's take a listen. already feel and hear that difference between this song and Flight of the Bumblebee. So Flight of the Bumblebee, if you remember, that pianist, they put all those notes up here so that we can see them. Well, this guy, he did the same thing. But since this is a slow tempo song, you can see how his notes are super stretched out. In the song Flight of the Bumblebee, we saw a bunch of really short and quick yellow notes up here but we don't really see that with this one. You can see how these notes are way more stretched out and even spread out all throughout the music, okay? So really, really make sure that you remember your slow tempos uh, in music always are stretching out those notes. They're trying to make them last. All right, scholars. So how can you know what your tempo is? Well, for musicians, that means like people in orchestras or conductors or anybody like that, the music actually tells you. So you don't have to figure it out on your own. Music is really helpful like that and it tells you right here at the top. So if you're ever looking at a piece of music and you see like a little number next to a little music note or you see a number right at the top close to the title, that's your tempo. Tempos come in like numbers so a uh, tempo can go all the way up to like 300 or 400 or something crazy. So this one is kind of in the middle. It's 116. This is just an example. And you don't have to know numbers right now. We're going to talk more about numbers like when we um, talk a little bit more about tempo and different notes, okay? So, but for this song, you can see the tempo pointed right here at the top. And it's always going to be at the top of your music whenever you play something. All right, scholars? So your turn. I want you to tell me your favorite song and I want you to tell me if it's got like a fast or a slow tempo. And then how does that song make you feel? If you choose a fast tempo song, I want you to tell me this is my favorite song. It's got a fast tempo and it makes me feel happy or it makes me feel excited or it makes me want to get up and dance, okay? And if you choose a slow tempo song, you can say this is my favorite song. It has a really slow tempo and I like it because it makes me want to fall asleep or it makes me really relaxed, okay? So I want you to explain why it's your favorite and then tell me, always be sure to tell me if it's a fast tempo song or if it's a slow tempo song. 
All right, guys, you can also use this sentence to help you out. If you're not quite sure how to express yourself, you can say, my favorite song is, and then tell me your favorite. And it has a blank tempo. Don't forget to use that word tempo when you turn things in today. All right, scholars. Also, if you're gonna turn things in, remember you have two places to do it. Like always, you can do it on our Flipgrid page or you can do it in the Google Classroom comments. And then if you're gonna use our Flipgrid page, go to flipgrid.com, put in the correct code for you and hit the blue button so you can join with your school email. All right, scholars, I'm really, oops, I'm really excited to see what your favorite songs are, if you can hear the tempo, and what those tempos are gonna make you feel. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, and I'll see you soon, bye.